Are you ready to find love, but your soulmate comes with tiny humans? Then this video's for you. Picture this, a stolen kiss between soccer practice, dinner dates punctuated by giggles and spilled juice boxes, building sandcastles with a new love while tiny hands mold dreams beside you. Yes, dating as a single parent can be messy, chaotic, and utterly magical. Forget juggling acts and lonely nights. Let's unlock the secrets to finding fulfilling relationships that don't compromise your parenting duties. Join me as we ditch the dating apps and rewrite the single parent love story, one date at a time. Before we get started, please drop me a like. Relationships is something I am very passionate about. I appreciate you. Are you ready? Buckle up. Here are 10 tips to successfully dating as a single parent. One, prioritize yourself and be ready. Self-care first. Before diving into dating, ensure you're emotionally and mentally ready. Invest in your own well-being through hobbies, self-care routines, and time with friends and family. Know your goals. Are you seeking casual dating, a long-term partner, or even co-parenting? Clarity on your desires helps attract compatible partners and navigate expectations. The law of attraction states that we attract what we wish for, but there must be clarity in your thoughts. Two, don't rush introductions. Talk to your children. Age-appropriate conversations about your dating life can ease anxieties and foster support. Listen to their concerns and address them with honesty and reassurance. Ensure a strong foundation with your partner before involving your children. Consider group activities or outings, allowing your children to observe you two together naturally. Follow your children's lead, respect their comfort level, and allow them to warm up to your partner at their own pace. Focus on building trust and fostering positive interactions. Guys embrace flexibility and creativity. Think outside the date box. Plan activities that accommodate busy schedules, like a shared dinner after the kids are asleep. Get creative with virtual dates. Online game nights, virtual museum tours, or planned video calls can be fun and engaging ways to connect. Remember, planned calls are the best, and make sure your partner can get on the same schedule as you and your kids. It will make the transition even easier should you decide to take the relationship to the next level. Four, manage expectations and understand schedules. Remember, kids come first. Be understanding that cancellations or last-minute changes due to child-related matters are inevitable. Adapt and find alternative ways to connect. Respect your partner's time. Don't expect frequent availability even if they don't have kids. Understand that early in a relationship, everyone is still feeling each other out. Appreciate stolen moments and planned dates around their existing commitments. Five, seek partners who value family. Look for someone who understands and respects your role as a parent. They should appreciate your priorities and be supportive of your family life. Open communication is key. Discuss parenting philosophies, future expectations, and communication styles early on to gauge compatibility. This is an important point that doesn't happen as often as it should. This should be done before deep feelings get involved on both ends. Six, build a support system. Lean on your network. Friends, family, and fellow single parents can offer invaluable support, advice, and understanding. Don't feel guilty about having a family member or friend watch your kids during date night. Quality time with your partner can strengthen your relationship and benefit your entire family. Seven, set clear boundaries. Determine how and when you want to introduce partners to your kids. Communicate these boundaries to potential partners up front and ensure they respect them. Boundaries established early in relationships are less likely to be tested again further down the line. Eight, beware of red flags. Watch for anyone who disrespects your boundaries. Pay attention to how they interact with your kids and address any concerns immediately. Avoid partners who pressure you to make quick decisions or rush into serious commitments. Trust your gut and prioritize your family's well-being above all else. Make sure they acknowledge that you guys are all a package deal. Be on the lookout for a partner that values your relationship separately from the relationship they have with your kid. Nine, be patient. Dating as a single parent is a unique journey with its own pace. Don't compare your experiences to others. Celebrate small victories and be patient with yourself and your partner. Learning and adapting are key. Openly discuss challenges and work together to find solutions that work for your family. Remember to use the dating period similar to the way companies use the first 90 days of employment. 10. Embrace the joy and possibility. Being a single parent doesn't mean giving up on love and companionship. Remember, you deserve happiness and fulfilling relationships. Dating can be a fun and enriching experience for both you and your children. Approach it with optimism and enjoy the chance to connect with new people and create lasting memories. Thanks for watching. If this video provided any help or guidance to you at all, return the favor by giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out my blog at relationshipsandtravel.com for more relationship advice and fun personality quizzes. If you'd like to be inspired even further, click on this video next.